Hello, my name is Jerome Murray. I am an entomologist. I work in the medical entomology laboratory at the Institute Louis Mallardet in French Polynesia. In this video, we will share with you how to assemble and deploy the ovitrap. The ovitrap is used to collect the eggs of Aedes mosquitoes. The trap is so simple, you can create one yourself using readily available supplies. Ovi traps work by creating ideal larval habitats for Aedes mosquitoes, such as Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus, to attract females to lay their eggs in the trap. The trap is generally a small black bucket or cup which holds water to which we add organic material such as alfalfa pellets, grass or leaves. Now, let's look at how to construct your own ovi trap. First, gather all the parts required to assemble your ovi trap. These include a black bucket or cup, an ovi strip, which can be a wooden paddle tongue depressor or made from fabric or filled paper, about 6 cm by wide by 12 cm long, a small bulldog clip, a permanent marker, water, and a small amount of organic matter such as alfalfa pellets or dried grass. Then, fill the bucket around two-thirds full with water and add the organic matter. Aedes prefer water with only a small amount of organic matter, so you could use a little grass or a single chicken food pellet. Use a permanent marker to write a label on the ovi strip. Clip the ovi strip to the inside of the ovi trap so that roughly half of it is submerged in the water. Your ovi trap is now ready to collect Aedes eggs. Place it in the field for five to seven days. You should place traps outside houses close to or on the ground, in a position that is sheltered from the wind, rainfall and direct sunlight, and where it will not be knocked over or disturbed. Place the trap in areas likely to be favorable to mosquitoes. This includes relatively dark, cool and heavily shaded places. Now, let's learn how to service the ovi trap. To service the trap, you will need paper towels, a Ziploc bag, and a container. Check that the bucket has not been flooded, tipped over, or that the obi strip is missing. If any of these have occurred, note that the trap has failed. First, carefully remove the obi strip, discard the water, and check if there are, if there are any eggs on the obi strip. Depending on the color of ovi strip, the eggs may be hard to see. Then, place the ovi strip on the paper towel for 5 to 10 minutes to allow it to dry. We want the ovi strip to be moist, but not wet. Place the ovi strip in a Ziploc bag and then place the Ziploc bag into a protective container where it won't be crushed or get too hot. Clean the inside of the trap with your sponge or brush to get rid of any mosquito eggs that may have not been laid on the ovi strip. Failing to clean the trap could mean that adults might emerge from your container next time you use it. Now, the ovi trap can either be reassembled or brought back to the lab. Once back at the lab, Ensure you leave the ovi strip in a moist environment for 72 hours so that any freshly laid eggs can properly develop. After this time, the eggs may be hatched or dried and stored for long periods. The eggs can be hatched and then reared to determine species of mosquitoes that laid the eggs or the specimen could be used for insecticide resistance bioassays. 